adapter for the lower head, the lower unit set up at 5 eighths now. It has a dancer on that's an on off mechanism telling it what, uh, when it needs tape. The tape is going through a, a track guide system. Coming out to the front of the machine where the robot will be uh, presenting the product to it and the line are being taken away and they're opposing, the unwinder and the rewinder are opposing so that line are being taken away and rewound is on the opposite side right here, the line are just being take, taken up to be disposed of the reason we have it, the setup is that the tape uh, is too, uh, too much elongation in it, too stretchy so we put it down with the strength of the liner and then we take the liner away the tape is cut, the liner is not. This is the unwind station for the uh, upper unit that now is set up a 7 8 wide tape and it also has a dance ram on off mechanism. The tape tracks up through uh, a guidance. Okay, run that through. And that, that roller is just following the tape at that time. The, uh, all of the rollers that are wiping the tape, uh, the tape comes through flat on the panel and then it is brought into this system and it's slowly wiped from the top to the side and here we're fully wiped on the side of the uh, cell panel and it continues through here and starts to wipe it under and as it goes down through it's wiped totally under and those are spring loaded and there's no setting to those at all. The whole head unit is spring loaded because of the variations in the panel uh, is one eighth of an inch variation uh, go top to bottom pushing so this unit can pivot in all directions and let me get around the side and I'll show you and these are all set springs and it also goes back and forth so I push it in and out in and out there we go. so this can go in and out depending on the variation in the panel we both have to set up the same way so that's so a floating head to make up for the variations of the panel.